Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And welcome to another episode of our Card Spotlight series in which I highlight a card that I think should see more play in Commander. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Curiosity Crafter for three colorless and one blue. It's a 3-3 creature, bird, wizard with flying, you have no maximum hand size and whenever a creature token you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. This card is really awesome and it is only in 1% of all decks which just seems way too low to me. So the first part about you having no maximum hand size is already decent. There are a lot of decks that are in for this kind of effect. People often say that this kind of effect is not necessary. You can just discard down to hand size but there are quite a few decks where you actively want to have a really big hand and it's almost always better to not have to discard unless you're trying to fill up your graveyard. Obviously, yes, you can discard down to seven, but having a ton of cards in hand often leads to the kind of inevitability that wins you the game because you just have too many things to throw at your opponents and they can't really deal with everything you have, particularly if you're in more of a controlling style of deck. Moving past that, though, the really crucial part of this card is the part where it says that whenever a creature token you control deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. There's a lot of tokens running around in Commander these days. I don't know if you've noticed, but certainly in my group, tokens are appearing more and more. A lot of them are treasure tokens, which obviously don't work with this but there's also a lot of creature tokens running around and tokens tend to be made in very large numbers not to mention that in a four player game of commander there's almost always going to be a way to get your tokens to go through for damage and once you get through with just a couple of tokens this is already more than made up its casting cost but if you manage to drop this when you're somewhat ahead this can really seal the deal for you if you have four or five flying thopters in play then you're almost certainly going to draw four or five cards which is going to make it very hard for your opponents to catch up because then they have to deal with this and deal with all of the stuff that you just drew and you're still left with the tokens that you already have so it's a really snowbally card and one that can really push your advantages it's not quite as good when you're behind it's not going to catch you up or anything if you don't have anything on board but if you're at parity or slightly ahead this is one of the best cards you can top deck because suddenly giving all of your tokens the ability to draw a card is fantastic it does obviously require a deck that has a high token count that won't be every blue deck out there there are some blue decks that are not in interested in this kind of effect at all and also very controlling decks will maybe not be that interested in this but if you have like 10 to 15 ways to reliably make tokens then this is just going to be an all-star in your deck and again 1% of all decks just seems incredibly low for this. So there you have it those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler what do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comment section below I read all comments and respond to all of them too and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click like or subscribe it really helps the channel and until next time take care Woo!